good morning, cougars. Please go down for morning prayer. Yesterday was Pentecost. Pentecost was celebrated 50 days after Jesus' resurrection. On this day, we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit to the disciples. After Jesus' death and resurrection and ascension, the disciples were still afraid. The Holy Spirit came down on them, and they were filled with courage and were ready to spread the gospel to all nations. They were able to proclaim the word of God to everyone because everyone heard them in their own language. The Holy Spirit is also with us today because Jesus cannot be with us in person. He sent the Holy Spirit to guide us and protect us, just as he did when he was on earth. Pentecost marks the end of the Easter season, and now we begin ordinary time. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I am your Lord. Seek me as a friend and lover of your soul, but remember that I am also King of Kings. You can make some plans as you gaze into the day that stretches out before you, but you need to hold those plans tentatively, anticipating that I may have other ide ideas. The most important thing to determine is what you are doing right now. Instead of scanning the horizon of your life, looking for things that need to be done, concentrating on the task before you and the one who never leaves your side. Let everything else fade into the background. This will unclutter your mind, allowing me to occupy more and more of your consciousness. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but the Lord's purpose that but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Here are Faith and Colby. Good morning, Cougars. Hope you had a great weekend. Yes. And as you can see, we have our posters all around the school, and that is because this week is Elections Week. And this entire week, we will be having the elections, and also we will be talking about the elections in our own country. Yeah, which is really cool. So we're going to announce the candidates really soon. And I'm sure you, you guys saw who's running, but we just want to get the word out yes. there, you know. And remember to just keep buying these May the Fest Be With You shirts because these are so creative. Yeah, $10, guys. $10. This is a good shirt for $10. And you, there will be different places you can buy them. I know one of them is at the sports banquet, so just keep buying them. Yeah, and the SLE of the week is 4A, a responsible citizen who supports and participates in community activities. And now what's a better way to, com to support and participate in a community activity than to support and run for, um, a, for office in the student council? Yeah, and you it's can great. even participate by voting, you know? Yeah, voting. Wearing the stickers that everybody's giving out and buttons and yeah. looking at the posters. It's really cool. Taking notes at the... At the speeches. Oh yeah, you guys really need to make sure you pay attention yes. to what they say in their speeches. It's very important. Yeah. Don't just go off of who's like your favorite. If they're your favorite person in the world and they don't have a good speech and there's someone who really has a good speech, I would go with the one who has a good speech because they're yes. going to do better for the school. Yes, and they'll do better for you as mm -hmm. well. Exactly. Now Monday we have TK through 8th grade start testing through the entire week in the technology lab. And tomorrow's Tuesday and we have it's a busy day. We have Eucharist at 8 a.m. Eighth grade has their graduation pictures. May crowning is at 10 o'clock. And TK through eighth grade star testing continues. Yes. Now we have the student council candidates. So we will start from the bottom up. So first, for safety, we have Kevin Windish running. And for boys athletics, we have Jay Cazada, Isaiah Baumgartner, Lou Curry, and Chad Hickenbottom. And for girls athletics, we have Aaron and Briano and Alyssa Hoskins. And we have a lot for student ambassador. It's Thomas Travaglia, Paige Rosencrans, Grace Marcos, Sophia Coos, and Emily Van Gagel. Oh, and Alexa Barajas. Yes. And for ecology, we have Tyler Hickenbottom, Sam Wemple, Erica Keel, and Brian Beck. And for religious affairs, we have Caitlin Pantaleon. And for treasure, we have Kendra McEntee and Danielle Bonato. And for secretary, we have Paige Hurst, Nicole Mock, and Sarah Acosta. And for spirit, we have Ryan Carter, Joshua Santos, Sophia Pacino, and Lily Ganahl. And lastly, for co-president, we have Jacob Gambino, Cameron Kim, Jack Mira, and Brianna Crowley. But also, let's not forget vice president, we have Matthew Renly. Oh, yay. Yeah. Okay. 
Sorry, so, it's not on our list. Oh, yeah. Good luck to all you guys running. I know you're going to do great. <laughs> you see, everyone's so excited that everything just, yes, boom. boom. It's all for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> now here's Ryan K with this week's weather. Hey, Cougars. This week's weather is going to look a little warm with the highs in the low 70s and the lows in the high 50s. Also, there's going to be a little class this week, so make sure you're prepared for that. Now, here's Genesis with the girls' sports. At the track meet over the weekend, we won our 400 by 4 relay, our 100 by 4 relay, and Jacob Williams won his 100 meter with 11.72 seconds, and Kevin won his 200 yard dash, and Tyler Hargey won his 400 yard dash. Let's give him a hand. Here's Keenan with the boys' sports. So last Thursday. DT1, yeah! Yeah, first place! We the best! Yes. I'm a little stunned. Uh, yes! Thank, thank you, Ryan. Yes, they won the championship, the PAL championship against uh, St. Barbara. So great job, Cougars. Here is Hannah with the birthdays. Hi, I'm Hannah, your school historian, and I'm filling in for Jacob Gambino. I'm here with Christian and Miss Loplano. That's just my happy birthday. How old are you turning? Eight. Um, what do you want for your birthday? Money. Um, peace and love. That's really cool. Who's Faith and Colby? <laughs> I love peace and love. It's the greatest thing. <laughs> Good luck and have fun with the elections. When you got faith, got, got mercy. mercy.